Okay, so today we're making hash bricks. We have two bowls, 47 grams of Bruce Banner Keith, two bowls of 45 grams of Gold Leaf Keith. We have an anodized aluminum brick and a uh, couple of these parchment pieces. Brick is cut so that it presses a brick of hash perfectly. Take our spoon, take our key, Such is life, things. 
things happen. Give it a good squeeze. We're gonna wrap it in a couple of sheets of paper towel. And we will go and shite. Clamp it through our vise. because it will not fit into our press unless we clamp it with our vise. So I'll be back in just a minute. All right, so we're starting with our brick this thick and we are going to squeeze it down. Until it is about half as thick. We squeeze it hand tight in the vise at room temp. Flip it over just so that it's as even as we can make it. And then it's back to the heat press. It's now that thick. So we have our heat press heated up to 105 degrees. Ours only presses on the bottom, so we have to keep it sealed to get heat to transfer to the top. And because it only uh, heats on the bottom, we're gonna take the thick chunk of our plate and put that on the bottom. That's where most of the heat needs to penetrate. This top plate is much thinner and much easier for heat to just pass right through. So it'll go on the top side, which is warm, but doesn't have the, uh, doesn't have the extra power that the bottom side has. This will lose its heat very quickly. We only have it up to 105 degrees because we uh, don't want to squeeze our, our hash out through the sides of this. We want it to retain a nice brick form. We want it to only really hash over on the outer layers and have the inside remained, remain as, uh, as pristine as possible. So before I run it, I want to show you what a brick looks like. Well, I guess I can't. This paper's on too tight. It's very tan. Yeah. It's uh, very blonde and yellow when we put it in. Open the press. Thick side on the bottom, centered in the press. Lever shut. I always forget. Keep an eye on your gap to make sure it's nothing, it's not squeezing too far. There we go. Give it about 15 seconds. And uh, then you're going to pull it out. And it should be a, a darker color with a really nice gummy consistency. Something kind of like, oh, I don't know, this. Yeah, something like that. Hmm. Now, these little blocks often get stuck. If they do, you can use, uh, where's, where's my little rubber squeegee? use one of these little things to get up in there kind of force it apart. That didn't take a lot, did it? No, this, this one wasn't stuck that bad. And, uh, lay down a bit of parchment. Make a mess. One does. Two fingers. Push it down a little bit. Go to the other side, two fingers in the corner, and pull it up. Look at that, very clean. Can you get a little closer to the camera? Yeah. Not a lot of residue at all. That's good. And your brick has been sufficiently cooked. Trim up the edges a little. Cut your little paper. 
papers because these things take forever to make and there you go oh wow There's yep break a hash and the consistency go a little lower with your hands there you go oh yeah what kind of smell would you describe coming off that very high in caryophylline caryophylline tomato tomato um very high in mercy um kind of like cheesy mm -hmm. grandma's beef stroganoff mm -hmm. but yeah that's that's how we make a hash brick awesome and then for chopping is that blade clean this yeah, place is clean right, so for chopping we just have it Well, first we should weigh it before we go and wreck it. Right. This brick weighs 47 grams. Pretty much every brick weighs 47 grams. Sure does. So to chop it, we bisect it long ways. Good hearty. Mm. Yeah, something like that. That was epic. <laughs> and then, yeah, it's chopped. But we want to do that here and here as well. Yeah, it so. takes a lot of elbow grease, doesn't it? Oh yeah, a whole lot of love goes into this product if you uh, are a consumer and we're unaware. It takes me a whole lot of blood, sweat, and tears to make your tasty hash. There's no real blood here, but... Yeah. Hopefully no sweat. <laughs> we, uh... Just making some nice uh, Tootsie Rolls, huh? Yeah, this stuff, this stuff is quite gummy. It's cutting up very easy. Sometimes it's kind of powdery. doesn't want to cut up very easy. Every strain behaves differently. Uh, and also, the keef will behave differently depending on how old it is, how cold it is. Keef prefers to be cold. And uh, also, just the different temperatures at which you press this brick out. If you use no heat, it will uh, not really. Form up into this gummy consistency, it'll be more powdery, want to fall right apart. If you use too much heat, it'll turn black and nasty and might squeeze up out the sides of your press. All sorts of problems. This looks like chocolate, doesn't it? Mm hmm. So, yeah. Oh. Um, break me off a piece of that fat hash bar. Seriously. farther down. There you go. Beautiful. Good hash. Huh. And yeah, that's how we make it. That's how we make it, guys. And uh, why don't you uh, tell the folks uh, who you are. Yeah, if you, I'm Josh. I'm the processor here at Top Shelf Cannabis for a little while longer. This is Mike. He's my future processor. Hey, guys. I'm Mike. Uh, Thanks for watching. If you like what you see, please like, share, and subscribe. We love you, Josh.